Good day to all. I have a Zelmer 1600W vacuum cleaner. Which does not turn on at the moment. I plugged in the socket and turn it on. And there are no signs of life. We begin to understand what is the matter. First of all, you need to draw out all the insides that are in the vacuum cleaner. Next, open the sides. We take out all the contents on one side and on the other side. There is a latch. Press this latch. Unscrew it. Here, too. Such a latch. Next, we need to remove this cover here. Take a screwdriver and push through. One side. This must be done on the other side as well. Next, you need to unscrew the four screws. The first screw is located near the wheel. Take a screwdriver. The second screw is hidden here, under this mechanism. Here is the mechanism. We move the latch, unscrew the second screw. same on the other side. We also unscrew the mount here and take out this insert. Here you can see another hidden screw. We also unscrew it. Using a screwdriver, carefully pry out the cover of the vacuum cleaner. Now you need to ring the wiring, take the multimeter, Put it on resistance, check the working condition of the multimeter. It rings, when the plugs are connected, it goes to zero and we call one plug contact and one plug. It rings, goes to zero and the second blue one does not ring, which means the problem is in the wiring. wiring went out and we need to find out exactly where it went. We pull out these two terminals and take out this drum. Next. We need to remove the crescent mechanism in this coil. To ring the rings, use a screwdriver.
fiber to push through this clip and snap it off. On the one hand and on the other. We check the coil for suitability with a multimeter, call the joint and there is a contact ring. Also the second joint and ring. There is a signal, which means that everything is in order with the coil and with the ring too. So the problem is with the wire, somewhere it is damaged. The wire needs to be changed. We remove the wire from the crescent. Also remove the clamps. We go to the market, buy a new wiring and change to a new one. I bought 6 meters of wire with a cross section of 1. I also bought terminals. Bought the fork too. First of all, you need to install the plug. Pass the wire through the vacuum cleaner, so that later it is easier to install. Cut off the ends of the wire with a knife. We put terminals on the ends of the wire. Clamp the ends with pliers. Next, we put on the upper part of the wire on the crescent. We put the terminals on the tips and push the wire through the labyrinth. For reliability, we press the terminals with pliers. Now we insert a crescent moon into the coil.
help with a screwdriver. The crescent latch should snap into place. Now we install the coil inside the vacuum cleaner. You need to put it on your grooves. Next, we put the terminals on the joints of the contacts. Now you can put on the cover of the vacuum cleaner body. We check the vacuum cleaner for performance, turn it on. The vacuum cleaner works fine, then we assemble the vacuum cleaner in the reverse order. It is also desirable to make a wire limiter. This is done in order not to pull the wire to the end and not tear the wire. It is necessary to completely pull out the wire and rewind it by 20 centimeters. Then we take the electrical tape, cut it off and it will be the wire limiter. It is not recommended to pull it beyond this mark. Thank you all for your attention. Put likes and subscribe to the channel. All